Lesson 15, Bonds, Perpetuities, and Stocks. We're going to start by learning about coupon bonds. And I should put a date on this. When governments and companies want to raise money, sometimes they issue things called bonds. This bond has a face value of $1,000. And I'm going to explain what that means as we go. What that means is you buy, actually I'm going to write down the coupon rate, is at 6%. Okay. You buy the bond for $1,000 for however long the time period is. Every six months, and bonds tend to be semi-annual, you get a coupon payment or your interest is calculated and sent to you. So we're not compounding the interest. The person who owns the bond is getting that interest. I've written this as an old fashioned coupon bond where there's literally a bunch of coupons and when you pull them off, you get money. At the end of the time period, and that here is going to be in December 2025, you get your $1,000 back. So the money, the interest is being calculated every six months and you get that. So this bond has a face value of $1,000, a coupon rate of 6% compounded semi-annually, and it has a maturity of 10 years. That means that for 10 years, you get these payments. What's the semi-annual coupon payment? For this, we're just coming up with the interest after one half year, or the simple interest. So the coupon payment is really the interest accrued in one period. Or here, it's going to be six months. And I'm going to say that often bonds are semi-annual. So our interest here is going to be I equals PRT because we're just using simple interest. Our interest is going to be the principal. That's $1,000. The rate, well, that's just going to be the periodic rate. So if it's 6% divided by 2. And T, well, that's where that divided by two comes from. So six months for one or 0.06 times a half. That's $30. And that's where I got this $30 up here. So every six months, you get a check in the mail for $30. Let's look at this bond in a timeline. So. This goes on for 10 years, and every six months we get a payment. So I'm going to put in a payment of $30. $30. Every six months, starting from there, we get $30. At the very end, we still get $30, but we also get $1,000. This is, in fact, an ordinary annuity. How much did we pay for this? Originally, we paid $1,000, the face value. The interesting thing here comes when we don't keep it for the full 10 years. Bonds are a financial instrument, just like stocks, and we can sell them on the open market, on the bond market. In this case, it's usually useful to calculate what we call fair market value. So fair market value how much somebody else would pay for the bond. So right now, it's three years later. So that means I'm just gonna write in seven years are left. Anybody can go and buy a similar bond, the same type of bond at 8%. So how much do you think somebody would pay for our bond, which is in fact at 6%? So this is what we're going to be computing. So looking at this, we have the exact same timeline. 
except for the fact that we only have seven years remaining. Three years have already happened. So the timeline here just has to do with the fact that there's only seven years left. Looking at this, this is an ordinary annuity. Ordinary, begin is off. It's also simple because looks like our interest rate is 8% compounded semi-annually and our coupon payments are semi-annual. That makes this a simple ordinary annuity. I'm going to go through and calculate all of this and I'm going to note this IY isn't 6 anymore, it's changed to what the market is. So that's important, you're using your new interest rate. N, that's how many coupon payments are left and that is, well, we have seven years of twice a year payments, 14 payments left. Present value is what we're trying to compute. That's going to be our fair market value. The payment, well, that was at $30. And future value, that's the $1,000 we get at the end. This is important. These two are going to have the same sign. You can make them both positive or both negative, but they have to have the same sign. I'm just going to write down some notes on this so you remember. Payments left. Present value is fair market value. That's what we're computing almost always. This is our new rate. The payment, that's the old rate times the face value or future value. It's kind of nice that the face value and future value both have the same uh, initials. I would say ordinarily, this is an ordinary annuity. I can't see very many opportunities where it isn't. And I am going to put in a little note here that these have the same sign. They're either both positive or they're both negative. And you can choose which it is, but they have to be the same. So let's just bump that in. So we go into PYCY, make sure it's 2, 14, 8%. Our payment is 30 and $1,000 is the future value. So now all I'm going to do is compute that present value and I get that the fair market value is $894.37. It's less than 1000 and that's because anybody can get $40 payment, that's 8% divided by 2 times 1,000. If anybody can get a payment of $40, why would they want our payment of only $30? And the answer is only if the price is discounted. Let's try one more. How much is the bond worth if you sell it in four years and the interest rate for similar bonds is 5% compounded semi-annually? That means anybody buying a similar bond has a coupon payment of $1,000 times 0 0.05 over two, which is $25. So our $30 bond should be worth more now. Four years means six years left, which makes our N six times two means we have 12 payments. Again, our PY and CY are two, our interest rate has gone down to five. Present value is what we're gonna compute and our payment and future value stay the same and still an ordinary annuity. So all I'm gonna change here because I have everything already in my calculator is 12N, five I way. And we can always go recall and then press something to make sure it is correct. Now I'm just gonna recompute that present value and I find out that the fair market value has gone up. It's actually $1,051.29, which makes sense. We've locked in at a higher rate. That makes it more valuable than bonds that are selling right now.